Hello viewers, this is a Clash with Gramophone. Today, we're gonna to be highlighting one of JBL's features, ambient noise control, or better known as noise canceling. While a lot of the modern headphone brands that you might know have noise canceling, JBL has a few tricks up their sleeves to further heighten your experience. To help us understand JBL ambient noise control better, we're gonna be using the JBL Live Beam 3, which you can check out the video that we just did right here or in the link in the description. First, let's go over what ambient noise control even means. Ambient noise control is modifying the sound that is being played into your ears based on what is happening outside of your headphones. The way that this is achieved is with some form of microphone setup. The microphones listen to what's going on outside of your earbud or headphone and modify the sound that's being played inside. The most common form of ambient noise control is noise canceling. This feature cropped up due to the fact that even with headphones or earbuds in, which should block out outside sound, and music or video playing, which should drown out outside sound, that outside sound can still be heard in your ears. Noise canceling captures that outside sound from the microphones inside the earbud or headphone and plays an inverse audio wave of the sound that it's hearing on top of the music that's being played through your phone or a different source. Like I said before, audio takes the form of waves. And one of the most interesting things in my opinion about waves is when you take two waves and combine them, you get a brand new wave that takes on new interesting properties. So if the noise coming from the outside world is a peak and then a trough, the noise canceling software will recognize that and then play into your ears a trough and then a peak of the same amplitude. If you listen to both of these waves at the exact same time, the peaks and troughs will cancel out. Now that all of those unwanted outside audio waves are properly canceled out, the only audio waves coming in is the music that you intended to play. If you want to optimize how well your noise canceling works, there are a few factors that impact your experience. The first is how well your headphone seals to your ear. If it's an earbud, it's how well the tip makes it seal inside your ear, and if it's a headphone, it's how well the ear cup seals over your ear. The second factor is how good the microphones are, how many microphones are in each earbud, and how well they are picking up outside sounds all impact your noise canceling. And the third most important one is how good the software is, how fast it is at picking up outside sound and how fast it is at converting that to an inverse audio wave. Another aspect of ambient noise control is actually the exact opposite of noise canceling. JBL calls this ambient aware, and this technology actually boosts the sound waves of the quiet outside sounds, making them louder. This technology is useful for when you're in an environment where you'd like to listen to your music, but also hear what's going on around you. Similarly to ambient aware is JBL talk through, which amplifies the outside sounds so that it can hear better. But talk through also lowers your music or whatever other sound that you're playing. This feature was made to activate specifically when you are engaging in a conversation with someone so that you can hear them to the best of your ability. Ambient noise control is a pretty common feature in most modern Bluetooth headphones, but if you're looking for a way to best optimize your experience, here are a few useful tips. First off is that any headphone with NC in its title is going to have at least noise canceling features. The second tip is to get over your headphones rather than on your headphones. Over your headphones are headphones where the foam around the headphones provides a complete seal and contacts the head around your ear. On your headphones are headphones where the foam on the headphone contacts your ear directly. This provides a weaker seal so that over your headphones, the headphones that can pro provide a complete seal to your head will provide better noise canceling. The last tip is to make sure that if the headphone is labeled as open ear or open back, it is likely to not have any noise control features as headphones like that do not provide a seal to the ear other than the JBL TuneFlex, which are a very interesting headphones, and you can check out the video that we did for them here and in the link in the description. Before we wrap up, I have to talk about one of the main, and in my opinion, only cons to noise canceling is that it drains your battery much quicker than just listening to music, as it is using a lot of processing power to get that noise canceling inverse audio wave to your ears so quickly. But other than that, noise control is one of the best features of any Bluetooth headphone out there. Me and many others use it every single day to listen to our music and enter our own world. It also goes to show just how useful the modern technology is in these new wireless headphones. If you have any questions about ambient noise control, please leave them in the comments. And if you liked the video and found it helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe to the Gramophone YouTube channel. And if you don't want to miss any of our upcoming exciting videos, including more videos about software, please hit that bell icon. 
If you would like to purchase any JBL noise canceling products or any other high quality audio tech, you can stop by skybygramophone.com for a secure checkout, fast and free shipping straight to your door. And if you want to test out that JBL noise canceling goodness, you can stop by our showrooms in Timonium, Columbia, and Gaithersburg, Maryland. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.